Hi, I'm Paul from PDH Sports, leading online racket specialist, and today I'm going to take a look at our top three squash rackets for beginners. So I've picked three rackets that are, you know, a, a really good price, so I think that they would suit a lot of budgets. They are full graphite. Now this is a really important key to choosing your racket for a beginner. Too often we have people coming into the shop that have been to one of the large stores and they come back and they come in and they've bought like a 20 pound metal frame, it's gone out of shape. For me, that's a big no-no. If you want to enjoy the game of squash, get yourself a full graphite racket. You don't have to break the bank. These three, I think, would suit that. Okay, so I've got three rackets here. Two of them are from Head and one of them are from Dunlop. So these two rackets are teardrop, so these are what you would uh, class as probably the most forgiving rackets. Because of the length of the string, they're gonna give you the most power. The reason the head rackets seem to work so well is slightly larger spaces between the strings give a more forgiving hitting area. And then also I've brought a Dunlop one. As you can see, it's slightly different style. This is kind of more of like a traditional shaped racket with the closed off throat. Again, still has the same sort of large 500 square centimeter head size, but just um, gives you a slightly different option uh, in terms of style. Okay, so I'm gonna put these rackets through the paces and just give a few sort of uh, thoughts on each individual racket. Okay, so first of all, I've got the Head Nano TI-110. So I talked a little bit about the construction. So you've got a good, a good construction. And what you're gonna get from a good construction of the racket is less vibration. As I say, you've really, even a beginner, I would say, avoid the metal frames. Go for graphite, uh, and then you get, you're gonna get a racket that's gonna give you a bit more of a chance. Because the thing is with squash, you, know, you wanna be able to hit the ball to the back of the court. So this racket that I've got here, this Head Nano TI, uh, it's, it's listed as a 110. Now, which again can be a little bit confusing because 110 is light, so this racket is light, but the balance of it is a little bit more situated towards the head. So I can still recommend this to a junior, uh, to a beginner because you, uh, you know, you're not gonna lose control of it. There's weight in the racket for sort of stability of shot. Again, as a beginner, you're probably looking for sort of a 500 square centimeter head size, which this racket fits. This racket also has a fan stringing pattern, which really keeps all the strings long. So again, gives it that nice forgiving feel. So yeah, a good option for somebody starting up the game and wanting a racket that they can grow with. Because I think, you know, even at my club down here at Duffield, there's some good players using this racket. So, you know, it's not a racket that in six months you're gonna wanna sort of change or have to change. You can really progress your squash with this racket. This is the second racket of my choice for beginners. It's the Head Extreme 125. Now, this one carries a little bit more weight, so again, something that a beginner might be looking for because of the stability and if you get a racket with a touch more weight then you know it's going to help you deliver the racket head to the ball so the other key features of this racket is again the head size it's got a really large uh, open head size like like the other head nano racket but this just has the traditional straight strings so if anything is feels a little bit more forgiving, but carries a little bit more weight. So when I've taken this on court for people to try, you know, some, some people have loved the extra weight because it, they find they can get more power. Some people have found it's too heavy, uh, you know, especially say, like some young kids or ladies, they might prefer the nano racket. One thing to point out, I would say the Head Extreme has a more exciting cosmetic than the Nano. So for someone that's wanting a little bit more of a funky looking racket, you know, because sometimes that's important as well. 
uh, that you're going to get that. The cosmetics on this racket are really nice. Okay, so my third and final racket that I'm recommending for beginners is the Dunlop Blackstorm 2.0. So again, cosmetically very strong now. The reason I brought this one on is it's a slightly different racket to the head rackets because this actually has a frame rate of 135. So it's on paper it's a heavier racket, but this has a headlight balance and also a slightly different shape. So what you're going to get from this shape if, well, for me, I find that I get the feeling of a little bit more control. So it's not quite as helpful in terms of power and also, you know, because it's headlight, you have to be a little bit more confident uh, with your delivering of the racket heads. But again, such an easy racket to use. This one, when you receive the racket, comes with an added vibration dampener. Now that's totally optional whether you play with that or not. I don't think you necessarily have to have it in. It just pops out. But, you know, again, large head size, nice balance, headlight balance more than the other two options. So we've kind of thrown this one in as a different racket to the other two. Um, but again, these are really great options for anybody who's starting off the game and wanting a racket that they can really progress to. So, much like the other rackets, you know, we do have good players using this racket. And that's the beauty of something like this. You're not breaking the bank, but it's such a quality racket that it's not going to leave you wanting a better racket straight away. Okay, so I've just come back off court. I've really enjoyed doing this video because it's something that, you know, there are so many great rackets out there, but the message I wanted to say is, please look to get a graphite racket. Don't get these metal rackets. If you want to uh, enjoy the game, you don't have to break the bank, but you can get, you must get like a full graphite racket. These three rackets that I've uh, sort of shown and reviewed, they've all got slightly different characteristics. Like, so you've got the head nano, which uh, is the lightest, has the fan stringing pattern, which gives a nice forgiving feel. You've got the head extreme, which has again, a really large forgiving head size and more weight in the racket. So it's, you know, I'll probably look for the slightly stronger build of player that wants to use that. And then finally, the Black Storm Dunlop racket, different shape, you know, um, more traditional shape, still large head size, a heavier weight but lighter head balance, so more maneuverable. Again, you know, maybe targeted at, uh, you know, even a tennis player that's coming into the game of squash that likes to volley quickly. So there you have it. We have three fantastic rackets that really would be perfect for beginners or somebody coming new into the game. Uh, it will help you really take your game further. And they're all now available at pdhsports.com.